Dogumentary TV, producing the best breed documentaries on YouTube. I'm Peggy Richter. I'm an AKC and American Herding Breed Association judge, herding judge. In 1892, Belgium, having had recently uh, obtained its independence, wanted to have symbols like every other country of their country. And they decided that the Belgian Shepherd would be their national herding dog. In Belgian history, um, they've never been a very numerous breed. You know, first of all, Belgium is about the size of LA County. <laughs> so it's not a big country in, in, to begin with and not everyone in that country has Belgians. Um, they've never been very numerous, but they are a breed that historically has been around. They actually predate the German Shepherd. Um, and they remain basically the same as they were when they were originally created as a breed. So they're a very versatile herding dog. They originated as a herding dog um, with the Gallic tribe of the Belgi. They're mentioned in Julius Caesar's uh, Gallic Wars. Uh, there's illustrations of dogs very similar to this in the 17, 16, 1700s. Um, they had four varieties they call them varieties over there. Uh, the Belgian Sheepdog, which is the, they call the Grenendal, the Belgian Tavurin, the Belgian Malinois, and the Belgian Lakenoy. They're all a little different. And in the United States, they're considered separate breeds. They started out using herding as a criteria when they created the breed. Um, in 1892, the city of Ghent became the first city to ever have a professional uh, police dog, and they used dogs like this, black Belgian sheepdog, uh, for their primary uh, police dogs. And in 1905, the New York PD went out and looked at these dogs, and in 1908, they imported a whole bunch of them, and for many years, they were the premier police dog in both Europe and the United States. In World War I, because the dogs were basically shot on sight by the Germans and Belgium was overrun, the breed was decimated and the role of primary police and military dog was taken over by the Alsatian or German Shepherd. But nobody lost sight of the, uh, of the Belgian dogs. The premier dog these days is the Belgian Malinois, which is a short-haired fawn. The Belgian sheepdog, the long-haired black, is still to be found in military roles, in police roles. They also serve as seeing eye dogs, service dogs with wheelchairs, hearing ear, search and rescue, biological search dogs, herding dogs, and even sled dogs. There's a sled dog team that races that uses Belgian sheepdogs. Well, they're very loyal they're very protective, they're very versatile. If you, if you wanna do any kind of a sport, they're happy to do the sport that you choose. Um, they're very intelligent, they learn quick. They're not the greatest pet in terms of they do shed. <laughs> they don't shed as much as a German Shepherd, but they do shed. Um, and they do need a job. If, if you just want a dog that sits in the house and doesn't do anything, they're not the dog for you. And if you want a dog that's an outside dog, they're not a dog for you. Belgians believe that they should be where you are. And if you're in the house, they think that they should be in the house too. If you're in the barn, they're out, they, they wanna be out in the barn with you. My first dog was when I was uh, in high school. I had a, a mixed breed, a crossbred dog. He was a German Shepherd Husky Cross. And I was looking for another dog similar to him in terms of intelligence and capability. And I looked at several breeds and I lucked out. I found uh, Belgian sheepdogs. Uh, I found someone who did obedience as well as confirmation with their dogs and got a puppy from them. And in fact, that puppy uh, 
Gura Kaimal <laughs> was the first dog um, in the United States, in the Belgians, to get a instinct test certificate for herding. So I kind of got into the herding after that seriously and haven't looked back. I originally had intended to do protection work uh, when I got my first Belgian. And I found that the doors were kind of closed to having a long-haired black Belgian sheepdog and doing protection. Most of the people who were in my area who, who were skilled at, the, at, at training people didn't want to talk to people who have dogs like mine. They only wanted German Shepherds. And later they only wanted German Shepherds or Malinois. And so I wanted to do a traditional role. I had grown up in a rural area. I was familiar with herding and it was an interest I had. So I started doing to see what the dogs would do in herding. And uh, starting in 84, did my first competition with one of my dogs. It was the first dog in the US to get a herding title. And that was Bear Claw Camel Holt with an ASCA title because AKC and AHBA didn't have trials at that time. And he got a started duck title. I have found that they are a very versatile breed in terms of herding. Uh, Whatever task I want them to do, they are willing to try it. I can put them on sheep, I can put them on cattle, I can put them on geese, and they will willingly give it a go, and usually we have pretty darn good success. So that's why I got into herding with the Belgians. Yeah, Belgians don't herd the same way as a Border Collie does. The Border Collie was designed to work feral sheep out on the moor, so they, they, they cast very wide to get sheep that are very frightened of a dog, and so they keep well off. Belgians were created and designed to work fairly large groups, one dog up to 200 head, that were very tame, that you took from the enclosure at night down a road in the middle of the street, down to a pasture, and grazed them, and then you took them to another place where they stayed the night. Um, these sheep might be very acclimated to dogs and willing to challenge, the, the type like Suffolk. Um, and they weren't particularly flighty, so they weren't very close. A Belgian cannon will do a distance gather, but they have to be persuaded that that's what you want them to do because it's not particularly natural to them. On the other hand, it's very natural to them to hold sheep in an area so they can graze and do that all day. Uh, Belgians were designed and used as cattle dogs in that they worked the ox team, which is basically a tame steer, <laughs> or Daisy the dairy cow, who was tame and been raised, you know, and again, they would take them from the, the farm enclosure down to pasture and back. And they weren't used like Australian cattle dogs or Australian shepherds to work feral cattle. So I have yet to see a Belgian that has what I would consider a typical cattle dog or cattle bred dog with the low heel down on the, on the hock of the cow Mostly what they will do is they will come up to the front of the cow, they will use bark or bite on the nose, and then they will go behind and use bark to, to push the cattle. So they're very good at working fairly tame or cooperative cattle. I would not suggest that you consider them for the premier range cattle dog. There are specific breeds that are designed exactly for that. If you're looking for a Belgian sheepdog, uh, the first thing is to remember they're sort of like Model T Fords. You can get any color you want as long as it's black. You can get a little bit of white trim. They're allowed to have white on the muzzle and they're allowed to have a little bit of a white stripe on the chest, but they're not supposed to have any large amounts of white or any other color other than black. Belgians learn how to be pets pretty quickly. You know, they, they, they generally are well-mannered they generally are, are good in terms of learning housebreaking. 
Um, but again, if you want a Belgian as a pet, you need to have the dog have a job. They're a very farmer's dog type dog. They are the average workman's dog. They can pull a full day, but they'll do as much or as little as long as it's with you. Uh, Belgian sheepdogs, roughly the smallest, according to the standard, you, you, you know, you can get dogs that are outside the standard, but according to the standard, the smallest girls would be about 20, uh, 21 inches, 35 pounds. Uh, the biggest boys would be 27 inches, about 80 pounds. It's a big difference. Um, I have one that right now, I have one of the girls that's in the small end of the st spectrum and I have one girl that's in the large end of the spectrum, so you can get quite a range. Belgian sheepdog temperament is not quite the same as a German Shepherd. They're more independent. They're more, I want to be your partner, I am not your servant. Uh, they will partner up. They, they feel that they have veto power. <laughs> And I've seen that in herding where they, you know, you tell them away and they, no, no, it needs to be go by. And usually nine times out of 10, they're right. Um, but it can make you pull your hair out. <laughs> um, they don't tolerate what they consider to be injustice very well. If you correct them and, and, and they don't feel that it was justified, um, they will sulk tremendously well. They're a very healthy breed overall. Um, there is epilepsy in the breed. Um, the records indicate it can be up 8% to up to 10% of the dogs. Um, there is some evidence of gastric cancer, but the latest records indicate that it's really not uh, prevalent in the breed, it's basically when your dog gets old, that's often what they will die from. Um, they have excellent hip dysplasia records. They're one of the lowest in hip and elbow issues. And they've got pretty good record on terms of eyes, not having eye diseases. Um, generally speaking, a Belgian is a pretty healthy breed. I've had one that lived up to 16. Uh, that's not abnormal. Um, the, I think the official average day age is around 12 to 14, depending on the country. Uh, for a fairly large breed, they're very long lived. And the plus with the Belgian is, is that they can be very active up until the very end. My, my one dog was still trialing at 13. I wouldn't have, in terms of Belgians, I wouldn't have any other breed if given the option. Um, they're not a breed for everyone. They are a breed for someone who wants to do something with them. But in terms of home protection, in terms of doing the chores in the ranch or, or whatever things that you might need to do, I can't imagine a breed that would be better. So, you know, they're, they're it's an optional choice. I don't want to encourage or discourage people from having a Belgian because I don't want them to become as popular as the German Shepherd and have umpteen dogs in the shelters. But they're a breed to seriously look at if you're looking at a, for a dog that will do what you want them to do with you as a partner.